Finding, renovating, and then renting old properties is always an adventure. These are my experiences. Okay, today is January 2nd, uh, 2023. Um, but anyway, so I got all the filling, caulking, everything done, and now I'm just gonna patch or texture um, the areas, the ceiling, where the popcorn, where there was needed to be patched, and I gotta uh, match the popcorn. Um, so I bought some spray cans, and I've done a lot of uh, spray texture with these cans, but I've never done popcorn. And I bought this stuff, and I always read the directions, make sure I'm doing everything right, and it says right on the can that it's temperature sensitive, meaning when it's colder, it's, it's larger chunks, and if you're trying to get finer chunks, you warm it up. Um, well, I'm keeping it 60 to 65 degrees in the house. I don't have any other way to warm it up. I don't have hot water right now. Um, so I decided to wing it, and I sprayed some over here, and it's it's a complete joke. I don't know. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it's like not even close. It came out all foamy, and my guess is because it's cold. Um, but I have to mask the same as if I was using a hopper. Um, you know, I've got all these patches to do, and so I gotta put, you know, plastic up regardless. So these cans are like 27 bucks a pop. And I'm like, it's just ridiculous. I'm not gonna waste time with them. And so I bought uh, the mix, and I got my hopper, and so I'm gonna mix it up and give it a shot. I've done a lot of texture, but I've never done popcorn. So this will be interesting. Um, I'm a little bit scared, but I will say that this this is definitely the house to test it on. If it doesn't turn, you can see, you know, the stuff going on in the ceiling. So if it doesn't turn out good, and I mean, these are where someone patched before and they just mudded over top of the popcorn and I just sanded them real quick, knocked it down a little bit, but I mean, you're going to see those no matter what, because I'm just not going to take the time to make it look perfect. So it's a good house to test it on and, and learn. Um, so anyway, we'll see how it goes. Okay, update on the texture, spray texture. So that's, you can see in the corner, that's with the uh, spray using the hopper. And it actually turned out pretty decent. I think if you didn't know, that's where the patch was, you wouldn't wouldn't see it. I had to, um, there's areas where I scraped where they had uh, repaired cracks and they just mudded over top of the popcorn and I, I ran that pole sander across it to take, knock it down and then mudded it. Um, and so this room all around here, I had to spray and it turned out pretty good. Um, above that window, I had to patch that. So yeah, I, th I think I have the confidence now to be able to do it. Um, this room, let's see, yeah, it was in the corner here. And then same thing, there was like seams that they had mudded. So I didn't spend a bunch of time really cleaning up the seams. Um, but now, after having done this texture and seeing how well it matched, I think I could spend just a little bit more time with that pole sander uh, and really take it down to the drywall and um, and make it kind of disappear uh, without too much effort. Um, but in this case, like I was saying, I mean, the ceiling, um, I don't think, you know, you can see in here, I didn't do anything in here. And I, I don't know if we can see it in the camera, but you know, there's just, they textured over top of whatever was going on. Um, and so it kind of just goes with the house. So I, 